What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Kieran here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers The Last Knight, Dinobot Slash. As you can see, Slash transforms into a pretty nice looking Velociraptor. This is the one figure, to be honest, that I was really on the fence about getting. I never got the Age of Extinction version, and uh, I saw this guy in Asda, and I thought, you know what, screw it, I'll pick him up. And I actually, like, at first, I really did not like this figure. Like, I did not like the mold, I thought the transformation was just kind of crap, but... This is like the one last night figure that has really, really grown on me. Like, I've completely changed my opinion on this guy. I actually really do quite like him. Dino mode is it's pretty much spot on. It looks a lot like a Velociraptor. Very convincing. You do have a couple of issues. Like, you can see his fists on his knees there. These arms are a little bit dumb. Um, they're just a tiny bit too big, I think. But other than that, I think the Dino mode is pretty damn solid. He has a very nice looking head sculpt there. Some nice red eyes. I really like all the spikes on his back. And they kind of like feathers, these little these little parts here. They are sort of like his knee guards in robot mode. But I really like the way they sort of look. Everything does tab together nicely. I don't know why I hated it so much, because actually having him in the uh, the Velociraptor mode is just, it's very, very cool. He comes with two little axes and they can store in the vehicle mode, but I really don't like it. It makes everything just look a little bit too, I don't know, just, it doesn't look right. So let's just tab those on there, just show them off. Yeah, there's just a little bit too much going on, I think, but you can have them on in the vehicle mode if you so choose. For a quick comparison, here he is next to Voyager Class Scorn, who I'm basically just gonna use for every single Dinobot video ever, because I love him, he's so fucking cool. There he is next to Scorn. Obviously, it's completely inaccurate in terms of size because Velociraptors were not very big at all. But just so you can see the two together, Scorn is a Voyager slash is a Deluxe. There is going to be an obvious size difference, but he looks pretty great with the other Dinobots, I think. Even though Slash wasn't in the movie, I think Slash, he, he looks cool. The transformation is actually surprisingly complex, and it took me a couple of times to actually get it right. But then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rotate the feet around and fold these claws up and then fold them back and just get that out of the way. That is one of his arms. Do the same again. Rotate his uh, feet around, fold the claw up, and then fold this back. That will reveal his hand. Get those out of the way. Then we're going to take these, lift these up, and split his head in half. Try and get this out of the way best we can. And this little piece here, you can see, because it is kind of a pain. It is very fiddly. I'm going to try and show it off best I can. It's this little section here, this gray section, has to rotate up and flip around. You can see it's sort of pegged on to the, uh, the joint there. What we're going to do is we're going to unpeg that get his tail out of the way, that will reveal his head. I'm going to swivel this up, and that will actually lock into place to get everything out of the way. See, it, it is a bit of a pain to do, and I really hope I'm showing this off very well, but once you've got that up, rotate it, and then you'll, you'll feel it like click into place. So basically, you've just rotated these arms up there. Take the little, tiny little hands there, just flip, fold those back, fold the tail section back, and just rotate his arms around, like so. Then what we're going to do, and this bit's kind of annoying to get done, you have to take these pieces here, take his T-Rex T -rex head, his Velociraptor head, and fold these up, fold this piece down. What we're going to do is fold out his little feet in there, and rotate his feet around. Now that is a leg. Now his legs are my biggest gripe with the robot mode. Do the same on the other side, take the, uh, the top of the Velociraptor head, and just fold this back, fold down his, uh, his mouth there, Rotate this around and flip out his little feet in. And then you just have to fiddle with that, get it around like that. And there is Slash in his robot mode. Now, I've got to say, I actually really like this. I think his silhouette is really, really menacing looking. The only thing I've really got against this figure is he is absolutely tiny in robot mode, which I guess kind of makes sense because he is a Velociraptor. But let's just compare him to a deluxe Dinobot. This is Slug. This is the new one. And you can just see the size difference there. He is very, very small. He is quite bulky uh, due to the mass that he's got on his arms and on his shoulders there. But he's got tiny little legs and he's just he's just not quite big enough for a deluxe in my opinion. That being said, I think his silhouette looks very, very cool. I love the Dark Souls looking helmet there, if that actually wants to focus. Yeah, I love the uh, the Dark Souls looking helmet. I think he does have a lot of nice molded detailing as well. When I first got this guy, I wasn't very impressed because he's got kind of loose legs. They just, they don't really stand up very well. And I really don't know how I feel about these, but these have actually quite grown on me. Now, the original version of this figure back in Age of Extinction came in a really garish looking color scheme. 
and that was part of the reason I didn't buy it because it just seemed a little bit silly to me. This version, however, I really, really like the colour scheme on. It's got a lot of nice paint detailing. Honestly, this guy has grown on me so much since I've actually had this figure and got him out of the box. And uh, I do recommend actually grabbing him and giving him a try because he's not actually that bad. I think this figure garnered a bit of a reputation as a peg warmer. Yeah, not many people were buying him. Like, this guy is everywhere currently in the UK. If you go into Asda, it's basically just this guy and Bumblebee that are still on the shelves. Now, as for the weapons that we talked about earlier, I you can hold them just fine in the robot mode, which I actually think looks really, really badass. I do like these, actually. They're very, very, like, vicious-looking, very cool-looking axes. But if you don't want him to hold them, you can actually store them on his back using the same method that we used in the vehicle mode. Just sort of peg those in. Or do it this way. Oh, no, that way. They will peg in, and you can store them on his back if you want. You can use one at a time, or you can put both of them back there. Now, it may not look like it because of all the uh, the kibble that he's got on him and on his shoulder pads, but he actually does have some pretty decent articulation. The head can rotate 360 degrees. He's got a ball-jointed shoulder, so obviously that can go any which way you want. Bend up here, bend at the elbow ever so slightly. Now, that, yeah, the arms kind of suck. I think they are. They're very, yeah, I mean, you can't really get much possibility out of them. It does have waist articulation, but it is hampered by these silly little pieces here. I honestly wish that would just lock into place and just not have waist articulation, only because it'll make him stand up a little bit better, and it's just, it'll, because it is kind of loose, so it, it definitely plays up when you're trying to stand him and position him. He has a ball joint up here at the hip, can rotate the thigh, bend at the knee, and these little feetums can pivot. But that is about it for the last night slash. I really don't have much to say on this guy that I haven't already gone over. Um, he definitely looks very, very cool. His silhouette looks awesome. I love all this sort of kibble on the top of him here. I just, I, I don't know. There's just something about him that's really, really grown on me. And he's actually kind of fun to mess around with and just play with. That is the last night slash. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.